guys welcome back to another chaos battle league video op here and today uh i'm just going to be playing some replays for you uh, i want to show you guys that i've been grinding um i've been uh somewhere around like in the 80s just because i don't like try to play i mostly play for the um quests and the guild quests you know earn a thousand stars um but i just wanted to show you guys this deck that i ran across it's actually super strong um i've been doing really well as you guys can see here i'll show you my history victory uh the ones that say draw are actually victories they're not draws um uh, but it's that glitch that shows that it's a draw here's another one draw three three victory all right so whoops not share i'm gonna um yeah show you the deck and then tell you why it works okay so they've got mothership trapper ninjas treasure chest captain Sandstorm, Gunslinger, Moby Dick. All right, so Gunslinger has a fast attack speed, and they um, uh, lowered her cost to three. Really strong. Captain's a good tank for Spartans, and then, you know, medium DPS, uh, especially for uh, Alchemist. Good tank for the Alchemist. Trapper uh, is really good right now because of the traps that slow them. Uh, ninjas, because they uh, buffed them. The treasure chest because if they try to clump them up boom hit them with the treasure chest moby dick to take out the pumps and their mothership and their spawners uh sandstorm just to like displace if they get on the tower you can pull them off with sandstorm really strong and mothership can you can send it in as a tank actually for you know the, its own spawn and ninjas and everything I got cannon turret curse of frogs uh it is a 4.1 it seems expensive but once you guys see uh these gameplays i'm actually you might not like this video, but I'm going to show, I guess I'll show all of these replays. Or if I'm playing the same person, um, like see, I, placed, I played against Fire Neo uh, from Vanzia Royals twice in a row. I beat him both times. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll skip the lab employees because those are stupid. Uh, played Brackish again. I he I did a 1-0 and then I did a 3-0. Uh, he got scared after that. Sal Wind, I played him twice, I beat him twice. Alright, so we only got a couple games to show you. Alright, we'll start with Wild Rage from 50 Kings. 40-40. And then now I'm actually 22 in the world, and I'm going to keep grinding upwards. So, um, actually I'm going to play these at like uh, 2 times speed, or maybe even 3 times speed. So this is Wild Rage. And then I'm just going to commentate as fast as I can at a 3 times speed, just because I don't want to take your guys' time completely up. So you start with a uh, Pistolier in the back. Pistolier is good. Um, then he dropped a Trapper, so I was like, alright, I'll drop my Trapper, and then I'll drop my Captain. Well, since I dropped my Captain, he did his Tornado, and I pulled his Tornado off. He just threw a tower for no reason. So now that's a wasted elixir on his part. It's not doing any good. I throw my Mothership. I realize he has a Werewolf, so I set my Bomb in front so that it doesn't hit the tower. He throws... Uh, gunslinger, so now I know his gunslinger is out of rotation. I stack everything up, and he he has everything bundled for me. Look at this, guys. Look, he tornado, and he has all that. Okay, so then he has alchemist, and it's aiming for the front. Doesn't do anything. All right, we'll just let that go. Let it fizzle. And then I knew at this point I was like, all right, good game. Like he gave me the tower with that sandstorm. So this one, and I'm gonna throw a bomb just so you can't get in there. Trapper, and I can. Dude, I can sandstorm. Like he can't, he can't use his trapper because sandstorm. All right, well he put his obelisk too far back. Now, you know my little minions are still chipping away at his tower, so I don't know what the obelisk was for. And I think he gives up. Oh no, he didn't give up. As you can see. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. And then I put a bomb right there, blows everything up. Put a trapper. Throw my frogs down just for to taunt him. Look at those frogs. He's a frog. Look at that. So, okay, continue. Good game. I did say good luck and good game in all of those. Uh, all these games that I'm about to show. Okay. So, let's see the next game. So, that, like, that was against Wild Rage. This one is Krusty McBalls. It says draw, but we're going to watch it, and you're going to see that it is definitely not a draw. Do, 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 do. We're in Tortuga. Life of the league. Let's go. Okay, and we'll do the three times on this one. And it did say good luck. So I start with Trapper in the back. Alright, and then I'm like, you know what? F that side. I'm not even going to worry about it. So I think I throw ninjas, okay? Then he, he tornadoes that shit, pawing or whatever. And like it comes up, and he even uses a uh, bomb on top of the polymorph. 
So I'm like, cool, thanks for that. So here's my uh, mothership still chipping away. Got my captain, got that one, and then look at this. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tornado everything away. Look, he tornadoes it, and it doesn't kill anything. So there goes his tower. Goodbye. Thank you, Crusty the Falls. And then I'm like, you know what? I got a big enough fort here, so I throw my mothership on his side of the field. Do I? I thought I did. Wow, I didn't do anything. Did I really waste that much elixir? No. Wow. This thing is saying <laughs> this is saying that I didn't do anything. Of course I played, you guys. I wouldn't not play like this. I don't I've never seen a glitch where it just like cuts it off. So this Krusty McBalls guy, uh he's definitely cheating or glitching. Um because I did three crown him. I don't know what happens here, but um, it says the game ended on 3 3 and 14, 13, 12. If not, I win with one tower, right? I mean, he doesn't have any. So, match over. Winner one. Which, that doesn't make sense. We didn't stop playing like two minutes before the end of the game. I three crowned him. So, that is so weird. It's a weird glitch. I actually never tried to replay. So I'm guessing the other one's going to do the same thing. Um, so we, that was Krusty McBall. So here we go. The first match with Ben City Royals Fire Neo 89. If 89 was the year that he was born, that's the year I was born. So we're approximately the same age. This is my guess. I don't know what 89 means. It could mean anything, but... If not, coincidentally, that's the year I was born. What up? Okay, so I start with Trapper in the back. And I'm like, alright, just ignore that. Cool. Like, he wants to play his whatever right away. Go ahead. Boom. I get a value Moby Dick. Moby Dick took out those two in that. And then I'm like, alright, well, this is getting too much to handle. So I gotta start doing something about this. I, um... Okay, so there's that. And then he sets his obelisk down. Look at that. I didn't even play Trapper and he used the obelisk to, to tank. Well, guess what? Now he doesn't have his obelisk and I put Trapper in the other lane. Because I'm like, you know what? That's more ridiculous. And he he sandstorms that for some reason. And I'm not exactly sure why I threw Mothership on this side. I think just to like taunt him maybe. Uh, or just to give added defense, you know? Just a little bit of an added defense. Okay, so I was like, alright, well, I can cycle um, Sandstorm. I don't need to use a Moby Dick. I can just cycle Sandstorm. So I'm like, alright, cool. Well, I'm building up my push on the left. There's Trapper in the front. Everything like that. Hit nut. And then throw my Sandstorm like that. Takes a tower. 10 seconds. I put a treasure chest down. And and I use my frogs. So there's the match. Throw my ninjas on top. And that's a good game. So. <sighs> we won that one. Okay, that was the first match against Fire Neo. We're going to go to the second one, Fire Neo. You can see there it was 41-32, so I took 20 trophies from him. Thank you, Fire Neo, for that. So, Chaos Labs, and, doo -doo. he does a travel right in the beginning, so I'm like, alright, well that's not going to work for you, okay, and then I'm like, well, Mike can tank this, but I'm going to support with the gunslinger, I put um, my trap in the front, look at that, obelisk goes down, and he has Alchemist, which doesn't do that much. I stun it with the Moby Dick to get the tower. Okay, so I'm a little bit of Elixir behind, but that's fine. I think I already say good game right there, and then I throw Mothership on the other side. So Mothership's on the other side, and I did a, I, my tornado was a little bit off, and my sandstorm, I mean, I didn't like that. I threw me just to defend. Like, I want to make sure he gets zero damage on there. So there's that. I thought that, um... That that treasure chest would pull the um, 
trapper backwards, but it actually did it. Okay, so there's that one. He does that. And then all my troops still stay alive. I throw um, frogs down just for the fun of it. And then my guy could go and set the treasure chest. I set that. Okay. That one. And then I Moby Dick on the top. Just to make sure everything goes away. And I set a bomb. And that's a good game. So there's the second game. As you guys can tell. That's a different, definitely a different different game. And. Okay. Continue. So Fire Neo. Get out of here son. It's not actually my son. I was just kidding. Uh, let's see what we got here. So, Fire Neo, Lab Employee, here we go, Brackish. We got the two games with Brackish. And he's running a shield turret, Frankenstein. <clears throat> and what I didn't know is that shield turret um, will absorb all the damage from a spell. So, for example, you'll see in the next game. Well, I guess I'll talk, to, I'll talk about it next game. Okay, we'll fast forward this one. Okay, I throw a gunslinger in the back. I'm like, alright, let's support with the uh, uh, mothership. So I'm like, alright, cool, pull all that stuff. And boom, get all that out the way. Get that going. Get that going. And like, cool. Get rid of this mummy horde. Get rid of that. That goes down. Trapper's in the front. Takes care of all that. And should be a tower. Okay, and then I'm like, you know what? Let's go for the other side. I don't know what he's doing on that side. Maybe he throws a mummy horde and it's dead. And then he throws minions and it's dead. It didn't do anything. And I'm still getting damage. He throws scarabs. It didn't do anything. So I throw my cat in the back. And I think I could have gone for the three crown. But there's no way he was going to win. So I pull uh, his Frank to the other side, which is cool. That way he doesn't have a tank in front. It's not cool. There's that. And I think I throw... Oh, frogs. And I miss my Moby Dick. I, I was pissed. Like that, There was like a lag spike. So I was like, alright, I gotta overcompensate. No big deal, though. He's not gonna get the tower. I messed up a little bit. Sorry. Okay, so there's ninjas there. And then he polymorphs my ninjas. Really weird play. Okay, all that, and then I think I tur or, uh, tornado everything, and his bohia doesn't want to fire again. So, that was really nice. And he does a cry face here, because he's like, my bohia should have killed your tower. But, no worries. Okay, so that was brackish. Alright, and brackish number two, we'll watch this one, and it's the same game. I didn't know that I was going to be facing the same guy. So I said good luck. And we're on Earth. 3000 AD. League 7. Okay. And... One, two. So I have my gunslinger in the back. And he decides to start with the tombstone. Or, you know, pyramid, whatever you want to call it. Mothership. So I'm like, alright, cool. There's that. He polymorphs... My single gunslinger, and I'm not sure what was up with that. I don't know why he did that, but it's fine. So all this stuff's out. I throw ninjas to protect. Then I got this stuff to take it out. And then look, he's back to his pyramid, and I'm just building up health. I'm like, all right, well. So then he's spamming now. He's spamming his other cards. And I'm like, all right, well, now I have two motherships, and you did nothing to me. You did literally zero. So I think after... Uh, this part, I think. I think I said good game right here or something, and then he just quit because um, he saw the power. Oh, he polymorphs everything. I was like, dang, good job on the polymorph, but look at that. When I, If you don't kill all of them, they stay alive. And then he frogs everything. So I was like, dude, I'm going to stun, and then look. So there's that, and 22, 12, boom. There's the three crowns. So, and I think that was a perfect. I don't even think he touched my tower at all. So that guy, even with polymorph and... Um, Curse of Frogs, like, get out of here, kid. That's actually my son. Just kidding. Okay, uh, Brackish, that was where the two games of Brackish. Lab employee, I'm not doing. All right, last two, Sowind. Uh, this one says draw, but I definitely won against him because I'm undefeated with this deck. I've actually not lost with this deck yet. I think this is the new meta deck because nothing can beat me. 
And I made this deck myself. Like, nobody told me to make this deck. Like, this is a deck that I made. Okay, so I start with Trapper in the back. Oh my god. Mothership. Okay, ninjas. And he throws by here. And he has a giant. Giant with... Um... Uh... Bat Colony, there it is. Bat Colony. So I treasure chest the Bat Colony. He gets Bohe on the tower, it's fine. So I got my Martians, I got another mothership coming in. He throws pistol ears, so I think I throw ninjas. Do I throw ninjas or do I throw trapper in the back? Yeah, trapper in the back. I need those trapper on the left side to try to trick me. But dude, I'm just gonna I'm just going to um, sandstorm everything away. Okay, and I take his tower, so thank you for the tower. I try to get my captain in front. And then, uh, yeah. So, there it is. Bam. Sowind. Winner. See? So, definitely was a 3-0. Barely even touched my tower. <laughs> and then I just want to show you the power of this deck. So, it says, you see how it says draw 3-3 three, three, and I just played that one. I got a 3-0. I played this guy again. Watch, watch how strong this deck is. I mess up on the beginning. Oh, this is what I was talking about. This is where I mess up. Because he drops a mothership to start. And I'm like, okay, I want to counter his uh, mothership with my Moby Dick. Because I don't want to mess with it. And so I throw a Moby Dick on his mo mothership. Right? But I miss the mothership. And it hits just the tower. Okay? And so from that, he snowballs. He drops a giant in the front. And I tried to pull the giant, but it's already too late. Boom. And I, my treasure chest actually pushes it towards the tower. So I lose the tower off right off the bat. I haven't done any damage yet. So he polymorphs. And there's the trapper going up there. Okay. Everything there. I, uh, sandstorm everything. There's those. Okay. And he's got a giant coming up. I'm like, all right. Let's get another mothership going. He's got that. And I throw a treasure chest to co uh, counter the bat colony. And the cool thing about this deck is I have Curse of Frogs, but I really don't even need Curse of Frogs. So I throw Catman in the front with the minions, or with the Martians supporting. Check this out with Polymorphs, and I actually stun when he Polymorphs. So the stun was enough to take the tower. So now it's 1-1. One, one. I'm like, alright, let's get a uh, mothership in the back. He has Trapper and everything else. He throws Bat Colony on the, on the other side. So I'm like, alright, just get rid of the Bat Colony with Sandstorm. Pull that away. Um, I Treasure Chest the side. Take care of that. Polymorph kills that um, wave. Well, there we go. And now I have enough push. And that was his whole push. So he sets that down. And then I'm like, alright, let's go. So I have Trapper in the back. I have all this stuff to take out. Um, this giant. I have... Uh, a whole bunch of horde. This one, I actually um, sandstormed everything and I cursed the frogs and everything, and that was just enough. Boom, kill the tower. Easy mode. So, you see, that's the power of this deck. I was actually behind a tower, a whole tower. It was one to two, and I still came back to win. So, this deck is actually really strong. Uh, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, peace.